Hello loves and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be breaking down the full moon in Pisces that's happening. Um, so we'll be looking at the astrology, the tarot, the oracle cards, all of the things. Um, but before we get started, uh, don't forget y'all that we're doing a Mercury Retrograde Challenge. Um, we've been doing one every single day. I am updating all of the videos and everything so you guys will be able to see it and you can always um, go back and redo some of the older challenges. Um, we're doing it in a specific order because I wanted to start with um, like the cleansings, the blessings, the home blessings and stuff before we start getting into some deeper work. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. Um, we're going to continue to do challenges so definitely stay tuned for that. And we're also doing lives every three days so you guys will be um, able to catch um, some of the lives as well. Also, do not forget that we are going to Egypt well, in January um, for nine days. We're doing a spiritual retreat. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of amazing work. We're going to get to do so much. We're going to the temples. We're going to the pyramids. Meals are included. Um, we're going to be on the train. We're going to be on the. Um, we're going to be on the Nile, like overnight on the Nile and everything. We're going to be going on different rides and stuff. Um, we're going to go to the Valley of the Kings and the admissions are also included. We're going to be doing a full moon and Leo ceremony. We're going to be doing an Ankh uh, attunement. Um, we're also going to be doing a workshop on like the Ankh and also recalling your power from past lifetimes. Um, we're going to be doing a spiritual bath together. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. It's going to be like a a little bit of an incentive i'm really excited about it make sure you reserve your spot there's two spots left for the early bird special for those who want the additional um 200 off discount so definitely make sure you take advantage of it because it's gonna be amazing anyway with that being said we're gonna jump into today's um video so everything in its mother is basically in reggaeton <laughs> it's in retrograde we're gonna go over the planetary energies as always and then we're gonna move into the aspects um so the sun is in virgo the moon is in pisces mercury is in virgo in retrograde um we have venus in leo in retrograde mars in libra jupiter in taurus um Saturn in Pisces in retrograde, Uranus just went into um, retrograde in Taurus, Neptune in Pisces in retrograde, Pluto in Capricorn in retrograde. We have a lot of retrogrades. The energy is very dense. Is really, it's a little bit chaotic. Um, this has been, and I told you guys, I gave you guys enough warnings that August was going to be a, a little bit of a shit show. Um, and September is going to be like that too as well because Jupiter is about to go retrograde at the beginning of September. So, um yeah it ha it, mm. <laughs> it's been a little crazy it's been a little crazy and it's gonna go a little crazier but it will start to get better i promise y'all um i promise you. it would like retrograde season will will come to the close in january but until then um, we are slowly but surely going to be coming out of some of the generational planets as retrogrades and i know it hasn't been like the easiest time but we're, we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through it we're gonna get through it anyway so when it comes to the major aspects that we're going to be talking about, the sun is going to be in an opposition to the moon. Um, so there's definitely a lot going on with the ego and reflecting on the emotional energies. You might find yourself like trying to figure out what to do or, what, uh, or making a decision. Um, the Virgo energies is definitely going to be very analytical. This is a very healing time. So make sure you're taking a step back and actually you know, prioritizing your healing during this time as well. Um, because you might be getting tugged and pulled in a certain direction, but your ego might be like really stuck where it needs to be unstuck. So make sure you're taking the time to like do the work that you need to do because that's very, very important. Um, the sun will be in a trying with Jupiter. Um, so actually really really good for manifestation and it also came out in the tarot as well like technically you can do some manifestation work during this time um but as far as the way it manifests you might see it might be a little bit especially because again jupiter is in his pre-shadow phase right now so think you might see the manifestation start to come into you know fruition but it's it might just be a little slower than you would have expected it to come through um so just be patient with yourself um there are certain things that don't need to be rushed um be very mindful with traveling i don't recommend traveling especially like mercury retrograde but jupiter is about to go retrograde just don't just don't do it just don't do it um 
no just don't do it um i don't recommend traveling right now but when it comes to you know figuring out your manifestations figuring out what you want especially with the sun's energy because that is your willpower your ego your inner child it's a really good time to figure out what you want and so that you can start laying the groundwork into getting it a really good time for that the sun will be in an opposition to saturn so there are some <laughs> restrictions that you might be having from some past life stuff um and so from some things that you need to heal or from some things that you have done done, done and said it could be your own karma as well highly recommend past life work during this time i'm going to be recommending past life work until scorpio season is over matter of fact until sagittarius season is over um due to the fact that it's the retrogrades are retrograding okay it's there's a lot of past life restrictions that are being very amplified right now um you if you're feeling blocked in certain ways that you you're like oh my god why but uh how do i get unstuck from this and you're like doing all the spell work you're doing all the uncrossings and you're just like it's not it's not budging you need to do past life work i highly recommend a past life reading um just trust me you need to do past life work um especially because the sun is opposing saturn like saturn is in a fuck your feelings you got to do the work um mood so yeah <laughs> the moon is also in a, in, in a conjunction to saturn um you could also be during this time getting some very vivid dreams you could also be channeling your dreams like going into the records without even knowing you're going into the records and seeing visibly like especially if you're doing divination like hey what is it that's blocking me and you're and you're having these dreams like where you're just like in a whole nother past life yeah you could literally be daydreaming like not daydreaming i'm sorry I mean you could be too but you could be literally dreaming some past lives right now um so be very mindful of the things that the things that you are channeling through um mercury is also in a trine with jupiter this is a really great time to do a deep dive mentally to do a deep dive within your spiritual studies um to ultimately do the work that's like the key okay the key is doing the work if you're not doing the work that's when things are like they get a little bit messy they get a little bit more a uh, critical they get a little bit more stagnant okay and so with mercury in a trine with jupiter this is a really good time for you to come into deeper understandings deeper realizations there's a lot of lessons that are being learned there's a lot of things that you're processing the retrogrades are really going to push you into like a state of clarity um through like the fog and the bs and everything that's going on it's it's definitely a time where you're going to be having a lot of mental breakthroughs especially because mercury's also on a trial with uranus okay uranus is a planet of chaos a planet of unexpected change you could literally have a very much an unexpected breakthrough and an unexpected realization that changes your perspective about something that you've been stuck on for a really long time so make sure you're working with the moon's energy properly so you can actually do that release work that's very very much needed venus is also in a square with jupiter okay you might not like the things that you discover especially if you have if you're doing past life work um the blockages that you have you might not like them i'm just gonna keep it 100 you might not you might not like what you are what you discover uh throughout the journey of having these mental breakthroughs the realizations and the lessons that you're learning are not necessarily pleasant um but there it's meant it's meant to trigger a bigger change so you can move into pleasure especially once we move into libra season so we can move into a better state of pleasure um than we are in right now okay uh so the best thing that you can do with it is to really practice self-care it's so important to practice self-care with a lot of the things that are happening you're gonna have to take a step back slow down um connect with those who are comforting to you connect with, with like whether it's your family your friends like if you have like some sort of um peoples or community that you can like really lean on during this time um this would be the time to use your resources okay mars is also in an opposition to neptune <laughs> ah! um so there's definitely a, a lot of activity a lot, especially if you're getting if you're channeling a lot of information especially through divination um you might really feel called to act on what the messages that you are getting um be mindful of acting right away you might make a decision or you might act right now where it's, again it's not required for you to do like act 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 at right right now right now is it's, it's a moment of reflection you're still you're still processing a lot isn't it does not require action if you do take action on something 
that really, you know, you needed to kind of wait a little bit, sit with it, meditate with it a little bit more, process it more, you know, completely. If you just ran and you just said, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. Um, you might find the doors a little closed. So just be, just be mindful right now that, you know, the guidance is to slow down, reflect, sit with yourself. It's not to run ahead, like guns blazing because, you know, don't don't run ahead play it slow okay mars is also in a trine with pluto your actions will have consequences your actions will be very transformative um and you will be going through a very deep transformation including with uh some of the things that you're being called to do could also be from past lives like you could literally be feeling like you know what i feel like i need to do this it could literally be because you have some karmic something that you need to um overcome or some generational like trauma that you need to heal so Keep that in mind um uranus will also be in a trine with a pluto so expect some chaos expect some expect certain things that don't make sense like if there's something literally in your life that you're like yo abby it just doesn't make sense i i don't i keep trying to meditate on it i keep trying to sit on it it's a past life thing you, it, there's restrictions a lot of the past life restrictions um and the past life karma that you have are literally very much active right now more than they were like a couple of months ago specifically because of the retrogrades they're triggering a lot of that like hey you gotta focus backwards you're not running forwards right now it's not about the future it's about the past so because of that you need to like slow down dial it back and um do the work and reflect because the retrogrades are going to take you there anyway and you're either going to go into it like more confused like i don't know why this is happening or you're going to be like you know what i'm gonna figure out why this is happening i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna just bring it to the close because I, I i can't i'm tired I, I can't continue to do this it's really important for you to be very intentional at this time for the cards we have the wheel of fortune fun times um we have the queen of cups we have the ace of pentacles um not surprised that the pentacle suit is coming up the way it is and the water is coming up the way it is because the sun is in an earth sign is in virgo and the moon is in pisces a water sign um and then we have the two of pentacles and our outcome card is the seven of cups which is very much a card of pisces by the way this is a card of like confusion this is a card of illusions this is a card of not really sure what you want and this is what i mean by it's important to like sort your shit out right now if you're trying to do manifestation work with this full moon you have to sort out the other things you cannot manifest something new with chaotic energy or with like unnecessary energy around you it's just not the time you have to balance it you have to restructure you have to like find a little bit of grounding you have to balance the earth and the air the, the earth and the water element right now it's really really important for you to do that work if not you're gonna have a hard time planning planting the seed you're gonna have a really hard time time planting the seed and trying to make it grow it might not even grow because it's like you need to do the work properly bottom of the deck by the way is a nine of cups and the death card which is a card of scorpio if you do the work now i'm telling you your scorpio season is going to be a lot smoother than if you did. than if you don't just trust then we have diplomacy and kindness and we have um purge and simplify because that's literally part of the theme of mercury retrograde right now and all of the retrogrades is to purge and simplify um and to also be really really gentle with yourself you need to be toward you need to make sure you're practicing self-care with all of these retrogrades if you're not doing it you're doing yourself a disservice a huge disservice um we also have dive deep and gratitude there's lessons that you're learning that you're gonna have a little bit of a time like figuring out how to cope with some of the things um and how to just accept and process some of the things but it's still necessary for you to like dive in deep but also be grateful that you are processing these lessons you are overcoming the things that you are overcoming and that those things are you're putting in the rear view mirror it's really important for you to like do that separation but also be very grateful for the things that you do have even with the things that you're frustrated about in the moment like right now okay so that is all of the messages my love i hope you guys got all the messages you needed i will see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe if you're new here don't forget to check out the patreon as well i will see y'all in the next mercury retrograde challenge y'all have a very blessed day